All right, guys, this is a huge, huge day for my Onyx RCR. No more range anxiety at all. We have a bunch of parts we're installing right now. I got to show you how to do that, but I am hella pumped up. This is going to be a battery from Chai Battery Systems. This is the Rebel Touring. It's 3,960 watt hours. That's crazy. 72 volt, 55 amp hour. If you guys already know, the stock Onyx is only 23 amp hour and it's not that good of a battery. The 41 amp hour that Onyx sells is way better than that one. But this is 55. This is way bigger than the 41 amp hour. Um, this is from batch number one. The manufacturing date is 623.22. It took a little bit to get to me. I got it at the very end of July. And the reason why I know it took a long time is because I also ordered this a long time ago too. So we're gonna be getting rid of this fuse. Um, a lot of these fuses go out on Onyxes and stuff like that. And uh, we're just gonna get rid of it. I don't want it anymore. This is a way better connector. Plus we have a breaker switch just like the Suron does. So I'm gonna be showing you how to install this. So we gotta get ready to do that. So the first thing that you need to do is you're gonna have to take the wood cover off. I'm pretty sure you guys already know how to do that. Second step you need to do is take off the side panel. You guys should know how to do that too. There's just bolts all the way on the outside of this for Allen's. And then we'll have this off and we'll expose the side where we have to start disconnecting the terminals for this. Really quick before we do that though, even though I'm in a rush just like you guys are, you wanna see it installed and running. Um, I just wanna show you, this is how the battery looks compared to the stock Onyx batteries. Pretty much exactly the same size, just a tiny bit longer. It's not even taller than the stock battery, but just slightly longer, like I said. And that's why we have to come in here later in the video and we have to hammer this back plate and hammer this front plate. And I think you can use a rubber mallet, so don't worry, you don't need anything crazy. You could probably just use a hammer too if you wanted to, but you just have to bend that bracket in there. But we'll do that once we start getting into this. All right, now that we got our screws off, you're gonna see where these wires exactly go to. Um, you got your, I think this is the ground on the bottom and the positive on the top. But yeah, so your positive's right here, ground's right here. Super simple. If you might forget how this goes together because there's a bunch of washers and nuts and all that kind of stuff. Take a picture of it so then you know exactly how the washers and everything stack up when you put the new cable in. Very easy to do though. All you have to do is get a 14 millimeter wrench and come on here and we're just gonna start loosening these up. All right, just like that, very simple to do. Take these off, leave this other one connected down here. Do not remove that. Now looking at both of these together, you can see that these wires are a lot bigger than the ones that came on the Onyx to begin with. This is six gauge and this is eight gauge. The lower the number you go on wire, the bigger the wire is, the more current and power it can hold. All right, so I got mine put on. Just need to fully tighten these down and we should be good to get the side panel back on. Again, remember, positive on top, negative on the bottom, and then keep this other positive wire that goes down in here underneath the controller connected to the top. Do not remove that. Um, this, if you opt to get this from that NYC guy, this is gonna take up a lot of room in your Onyx in front of the battery. I mean, for the most part, no one has anything here anyway, unless you're running some aftermarket LEDs or RGBs, whatever you're running, you have a box right here. It might take up some room, so just keep that in mind. But for the most part, mine should be perfectly fine. And uh, I'm gonna keep on trucking and get this side panel back on. And then we're gonna start hammering this for the battery. All right, I figured before I put the side panel on, it was actually probably best to get the hammer and hammer these sides right here. You gotta do this back side and this front side. This gives me more leverage to kind of get in here. And I was gonna use a rubber mallet, couldn't find it, so we're gonna use this one. And we're gonna get to town, and you basically just have to hit this to bend it. In real time, you can already see that it's uh, bending out of the way. You don't even need that many hits, to be honest, but I'm gonna get this front side, and then let's see how the battery fits. All right, so the battery dropped in hella easy, and I'll show you right now that I actually hammered way more than I should have. I can almost get my whole finger back here, so, I might try to bend this back a little bit more so it fits a little bit snugger, just because I don't want to slide in back and forth, even though I do have these lovely Envision straps that I highly recommend you guys get, especially if you have a $2,500 battery on your Onyx RCR. But I'm gonna see if I can bend it back just a little tiny bit and then get the side panel on and start hooking it up and go down the street and test it out. All right, so I bent my panel back. Lovely, fits very well. I left the original foam underneath the battery and I actually put extra foam underneath the battery and on the sides because I don't want this thing getting messed up at all going over these rough terrain that I drive on. And now, before I actually put the side panel on, um, 
I want to put this connected to it already because once I put the side panel on, we're really limited on space in here. So I got to push all this in here, tuck it in, get it connected, and then we'll put the side panel on. And remember, if you do buy this from that NYC guy, the fuse breaker with the new plugs, make sure to take this off. If you not take this off, then you'll realize that you cannot connect your battery to the harness. So disconnect that, it will expose these wires, and then you can connect these together. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Everything's connected. It's always a scary feeling when you get a brand new battery, brand new harness, you know, you disconnected a bunch of stuff. It's always scary connecting it, making sure the battery doesn't explode or something arcs and sparks and you pop something. So everything seemed like it's going good. Um, we're at 83.6 volts. That's exactly how this battery charged up to. I think it said like 99.1% is where it got to. All the cells were, I believe, at 4.0. 165 or 4.17 so they didn't go all the way to 4.2 i don't know if that's something that we can change in the software that the app comes with this battery not 100 sure but i know it will prolong the battery but if i want to get the max range out of it i want to be able to put these cells at 4.2 each but anyways everything seems to be working let me button this up and let's go take it for a spin all right the side panel is on and i want to give a shout out to william kinsley again i made a video talking about this is the onyx rcr part that you need now if you noticed uh earlier when i was talking about this battery you'll notice that i don't have the original xlr connector i went with the xt60 and it's for reasons of my own honestly it's because all my light speed chargers that are over there they all use xt60 connectors you can see that little yellow plug right here and I don't want to have to use any adapters with my chargers. So I went with all XT60s. And the cool thing about William is that what I wanted to say is that he sells these and these are super cool. They're magnetic. They stick on the Onyx. But he also makes them in XT60s. So I'm going to be using this to put on here. And now I can put my aftermarket plug right in here to hold it. And there we go. You can see that I fully pushed it in now and it looks beautiful. All right, now I have the bike turned on and we are still 83.6 volts just to remind you guys and I have reset my speedo app which is everyone asks what it is. It's speedo meter on iOS. That's all you have to look for and you'll find it very simple. Sometimes it has one little ad on the bottom. I love it. But anyways, I have set my mile per hour to zero and I have set my miles to zero also. So just keep in mind on the Onyx display, I do have it at zero also. I'm not gonna be doing a huge range test right now. I just wanna ride it for maybe five miles or so, but I'm really curious to see where our voltage is gonna go down. All right, so let me see what type of voltage sag I get. Let me hit it right now. All right, so we got 78.4-ish voltage sag. It's not bad compared to what it used to be. Now this bike isn't hopped up on John Angel's uh sicko mode or nothing like that i believe it's on the minimalistic one i think it's uh i think it's torque mode if i'm not mistaken so it's one above the stock settings so nothing crazy i think acceleration time is four instead of five and i really didn't change any other settings other than that so i take that back i actually think we have power and battery at 65 percent so i just did a pull right there we dropped down the 77 volts but we are hitting a higher top speed, which is insane, 53 miles per hour. I know it's not much, but you guys have seen me ride this bike 24 seven. And what do I ever get on this bike? 50 max? We picked up some mile per hour. All right, all right. Now, is it worth the $2,500 to get, a, get three miles per hour? No, I mean, you're really buying this for the range, but Hey, they picked that up for free? That's what I'm talking about. So Tri Batteries has been taking over the game. Uh, when Lightspeed was doing it, they were the king of batteries for every type of bike that was 72 volt. And uh, now that Lightspeed is pretty much fading away, Tri Battery Systems has taken over. They're like the leading people in the battery industry for e-bikes. Hands down, Super 73, Onyx, and the Suron. All right, let me do a pull right here just to kind of get an idea. I want to be safe. All right, let's go slowly roll into it. Okay, so the power doesn't seem any crazier, but get this. Since I'm not having that huge voltage sag after I full throttle it, this bike has more power after about 35 miles per hour or 40. I felt it just pulling and pulling and pulling. 
compared to uh, before, it just it was starting to slow down after about 40. It would get it would take a while to get from 40 to 50. Now this thing really starts moving. I'm really curious once we start doing some range tests and videos on this thing, how it's gonna be when we change it to sicko mode and go through all the stuff. And I'm definitely gonna be taking it around places. So definitely stay tuned to all that stuff. I haven't even done two miles yet, but we are at 82.2 volts. Feels good though. I mean, the power feels the same. Like I said, just it feels like it pulls a little bit more on the top end because we don't have that low voltage sag that we used to have. And that's why I put my phone up here. So that GPS that you saw matches my display. So let me try to do another speed test right here and hopefully no one pulls out of this uh, this neighborhood. Let's go. 51, 53. I have my visor up on my helmet too. I'm wondering if once we uh, change some of the settings, we can go faster. I'm curious. Man, that's nice. So you guys might have seen the discount code that I put at the beginning of the screen, but just in case you want to know what's going on with that, uh, my discount code is actually not supposed to be as much as it is, but um, I just got some air right now. They actually are giving you guys more money off of these two batteries, either the Rebel Max or the Touring. So if you guys are thinking about picking one of these up, right now is the best time to use my discount code before they realize that it's actually giving people more of a discount than they anticipated. Because they told me in the email it's supposed to be 100 bucks, but you can actually get more than $100 off this battery by using my code. Now I don't know, oh God, can we even go this way? Nope, we can't. Um, now I don't know how other people's codes are working or anything like that. I use Rebel Playback. Well, Run Playback, but his coupon code was Rebel Playback. I used his code when I bought this battery because I didn't have a code with them yet. Actually, I'm gonna go this way. Let's, yeah, let's check this out. But I would appreciate you guys to use my code um, since I'm doing this video if you're watching it and you like my channel and all the stuff I do with it. And just stay tuned for the stuff that we have coming up for this battery. I'm definitely curious to see where my voltage is gonna be after uh, doing well, however many miles I do before I get home. Because I know when I would go to work full throttle in traffic, that's what you guys like to see, not using bike paths and doing 20, 30 miles an hour. I know you guys ride these in the streets and that's what you guys wanna see what the real proof is on the road. Um, I forget what my battery voltage was, but it was pretty low. I wanna say, I think it was like 76 volts or something like that for six miles, which to me was horrible, which means I would have got actually like 18 to 20 miles like Onyx does say in sports mode, which is perfectly fine, but it's horrible for range anxiety and going really far. But now I can just go across town and have a lot of fun and meet up with my friends. I can take it a little bit slower and not be too crazy about it so I can save my voltage and then haul ass on the way home. But I am excited, this finally came, man. If you guys do order one, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's probably gonna take a uh, couple months. It might take over a month, maybe two, max. But just keep that in mind. So if you guys really want one, I would order it now because you're not gonna get it for a while. That's just my suggestion. I already knew it was gonna take forever to get. That's why I was like, you know what? I don't have the money right now, but I wanna order it now. And now I'm enjoying it before a lot of other people do. All right, I'm going. You guys are going hella slow. You guys also probably noticed, I am not in the right clothes to be going this fast. Now that the Sonics goes faster. So let's just hope I don't go down, but I am having a blast. You're definitely gonna be seeing so much more Onyx content lately, now that we have this in here. Um, we're gonna meet up with my buddy Gabriel one of these days too. He has the same battery. He was actually the very first person to ever order this battery from them. Um, he did have some issues with it. I guess it was a bad BMS. I guess one out of a hundred or, I don't know if it's one out of a hundred, one out of a thousand. I guess they have like issues or something like that. So anyway, so he sent his bag and they sent him a new one. So I think he's getting it very soon. I did see some other people talk about having issues with theirs too. Um, I'll let you guys know if I have any issues with mine. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything if there is any problems with it. Um, I'm more concerned about you guys spending your hard earned money on stuff like this. And I want you guys to respect my decision on what I say. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything when it comes to any of these companies. I will say that the battery is fantastic though. Man, we got so much more power after 40. 
I'm almost at five miles and I am at 81.2 volts. And sometimes it will jump up after you kind of let off the throttle for a little tiny bit. It'll jump up a few points. I at least want to try to get six miles on this thing the way I normally go to work. So when I come home, we get an idea of how this, uh, how this is looking. Take a little detour shortcut. Now, one thing um, you guys might want to know is, does the other battery weigh more? And yes, I didn't weigh them, which I should have. I had the perfect opportunity to weigh them. Uh, maybe I'll do that in another video, but it's definitely heavier, but does it make the bike feel any different? I mean, the bike's already heavy as it is, so I'm not feeling any weird turning or anything like that. Weight distribution, it basically feels like the same Onyx I'm used to riding. Well, something burned right there, holy crap. And uh, just so you guys know, I have just hit six miles flat, 6.0 miles. Let's see what our actual speedometer app says. It says we went 6.4 miles. So I actually did more miles than I do for work. And we are at 81.6 volts. That is huge. And our top speed was 53.2 miles per hour. Oh man, and it's going up to 81.8. It's probably gonna go to 82 point something if I let it sit here for more than five minutes. But we only went down one battery bar. I don't really know exactly how accurate that is because I've always had issues. Another thing is I do have my headlight on. I could have left the headlight off and probably saved a little tiny bit of voltage. Wouldn't have made too much of a difference, but so far, so good. Oh my God, this thing is fun. Oh my God. I know you guys can't see the speed. I forgot to put it back, but we just hit 50 easily right there. I love it guys. Make sure to check out the links in the description and you can use my coupon code Mr. Central Driver to get a discount. If you guys are thinking about picking one of these up or any other battery, it could be a Suron battery or it could be a Super 73 battery. Chai Battery Systems is taking over the game and they're doing fantastic stuff in the community for us. So you gotta go show them some love. Tell them I sent you so they know it's a good partnership to work with me and hopefully we'll have some new stuff from them. All right, well, there you guys have it. 6.7 miles, 81.8 volts, one battery bar down. I'm pretty much just gonna call that 82 volts because I know it's gonna jump up. All sports mode, um, torque settings. If you wanna follow John Angel settings on how to do that, that's the mode that I was on in the settings for controlling the app and the controller. And just like that, what I was saying, 82 volts, one battery bar down, 6.7 miles. Knew it was gonna jump up. All right guys, so if you did like this video, please slap a like on it. It's really gonna help get this video out to people. It's gonna help Chai System batteries for making more batteries for e-bikes in the community. And we need someone good to make batteries for us. So please try to get this video out to everybody if they're looking for a battery for their Onyx or any of these other e-bikes that I have. I appreciate it. Thank you. See you guys in the next one. Peace.